This is part 5, Modeling the Body in 3D Studio Max. I'm Ben Mathis, and my website is www.poopinmymouth.com. I'm using the ortho planes I created in part 2 as a guide for modeling the body. For this tutorial, the camera is stationary to avoid motion sickness. First thing I do is start with a cylinder. It's 10 sides around, and the first thing I'm doing is just making sure that it, the silhouette from the front and side matches up to my ortho. So I use a chamfer there. Now I've deleted one side and symmetry modifier over to the other, making the shoulders, the armhole, All of this is just shaping. Chamfer again. So I wanted to be able to provide some extra definition for the stomach. Those are what these extra cuts are for. So the cylinder is going to be her neck. Welding all the pieces of the body towards the neck cylinder. All of these now are just minor tweaks to get the shape right and to give the impression of having shoulder blades and a back and a rib cage. So I wanted to make a slice plane through the neck so that I could follow the exact line that the uh, collar fi follows. And I extruded out the, uh, the edge for the collar. So I start with spheres for the breasts, and I'm using the soft selection to make sure that they look like gravity actually applies. The whole time I was modeling this, I wanted it to have the feel of uh, thick quilting over the skin, so I'm always trying to figure out how the um, the thickness would get rid of or change the definition of the body underneath. So for there I was just redoing some of the edge flow so that the shoulders would deform well. Now I'm checking the smoothing on all of it so that I can make sure that it's going to read well. So I extruded in the edge that's going to make up the edge of her um, torso piece of her suit. And those uh, cuts are to be able to describe the rib cage. So I was just applying the smoothing groups to everything on the head. And now this piece is going to be her shoulder piece. So I started with a single plane to get it in place. It's still only a single plane's worth of thickness. And now I'm uh, using the uh, extrude to give it thickness. And the curled under part I kept solid, and I'll just describe it in the texture. And now I'm rotating it into place. So I've only divided the middle edge at the far ends to make it seem like the whole thing is round, but it's flat mostly in the middle. 
This cylinder is going to work as the arm. Describing the deltoid and laying the foundation for describing the bicep. So you can see in the back view that I was working to make sure that it smooths well from the, the rear. Constantly checking it with the uh, show end results with the smoothing on. Now I'm doing a lot of internal welding to make sure that uh, they'll the torso and the upper arm won't separate during rigging. <coughs> Doing the smoothing groups. And I gave uh, one extra edge so that when it goes into the glove it would smooth well. And this cylinder is going to act as the uh, leather cylinder of the glove. I like to use chamfer when I've already gotten a loop in place and it's uh, how I want, but it needs to be rounder because chamfer will respect the, well, it averages the position of the singular one. So I'm doing uh, some setup, which isn't fully viewable on the back, but so that I can be able to easily extrude the uh, two fins of the gloves. So there's a double edge running down both of them. And now I've just extruded that out. Doing some quick little work on the head. Anytime you see the dotted lines through the faces, that's when I'm turning triangular edges so that it'll smooth better. Leg cylinder. Biggest shapes first. I've hidden the uh, the glove within the model so that I can see from the leg from the side easily. Always try and pay attention to the uh, the joint areas and make sure that they have enough divisions for when it comes time to deform. I ended up uh, in the final version, t 
taking out a few of the divisions on the front of the crotch and adding more into the back than you see here when I found that the uh, that the deformations didn't work quite so well when rigged. I extruded the top of the boots just to make sure that they would read from silhouette. Anytime you see singular verts moving, that's always for tweaking to make sure it gets the best best shape possible. I like having the boxes in for the feet and for the hands, both as something to start from, as well as just for a mental to show the, the balance of what they're going to look like when they're. Uh, the whole time I was modeling these, I made sure to have a uh, reference open to my other windows of uh, boots, of uh, women in cat suits, of, you know, just making sure that I was able to um, have lots of ideas and reference for how to shape the things. So these orthos weren't my only reference. I always like to keep the feet rotated out. It's a much more natural position. Having them perfectly parallel facing forward is not something you'll find very often in real life. So extruding out the fins on the boots. Quick smoothing, smoothing groups. So, extruding out the riding pants fin. Always hide parts of the model if they get in your way of viewing the rest that you're working on. Modeling the sheath for the gun. So once I got it in place, I wanted to model the uh, the belts for the holster. Use the shell modifier to give it thickness. And then convert it back to an edit poly to uh, have something to weld together. So I've merged in hands from, pre-made hands from another file. They're just so low poly, I knew I wouldn't have many to work with, and I already had an appropriate hand. So this is a spline that I have show renderability turned on. Three sides. Adjust the width. And then I flattened it so that it would have a little bit of roundness in the front, but it's flattened in the back. So now I've combined the torso so that it's no longer using a symmetry modifier, it's unique. And I'm making the cut line for her uh, vest pattern. I extruded out as a group uh, with normals per poly, and then I got rid of the uh, opposing edge, so I was only left with the one side.
or rank bar 